time. All right. Things living, not living. Okay. This week in language, we are going to continue to review nouns. So we're almost finished, almost complete with all the different names, the four parts of a noun. So let's go over the definition. I ask you, what is a noun? You say a noun is the name of a person, place, thing, or idea. Again. A noun is the name of a person, place, thing, or idea. Okay, a noun is the name of four things, persons, places, things, and ideas. So we already learned persons. We did the common and the proper person. Common is like mom, dad. The proper would be like Tina and Henry. And then we did places. We learned the common and proper that was last week of places. Common would be like school. And then proper would be like Philadelphia Christian Academy. We learned common of a place store. And then the proper noun of place would be like JCPenney. So this week we are going to continue to move on to the next part of the noun, which is things. And so things are things. If it's not a person and it's not a place, it is most likely a thing. There are a lot of things in the world. And so this is going to be super easy this week. I expect everyone to make A's on the test on Friday. So let's go ahead and get into things a little bit. So we have two types of things. We have living things and non-living things. Whenever we say living things, we mean things that are alive. Now, I know you would say like people, but... If you remember, person was by itself. So a person is not a thing. A person is a human. So it is not considered a thing. Yes, we are alive, but again, we are already, we already covered person, okay? So whenever we say things, we will not talk about humans. We will talk about more of things that are in nature, okay? So an example of a living thing would be animals. All types of animals are living things. A dog, a cat, a horse, cow, pig, a fox, okay? And any other kind of animal that you can think of. If you go to the zoo, there are so many animals you can see. Lion, cheetah, all of those animals are living. So they are things. They are living things. They have a heartbeat. They can breathe. They are alive. Another type of living thing are insects. Okay, insects are kind of like animals too, but, um, but we'll just put them on their own. So insects, of course, would be like a fly, butterfly, a beetle, mosquito, woo. okay, and any other type of insect that you can think of, okay? If you have your favorite insect, an ant, a bee, if you have your favorite insect, it is considered a thing. So animals, insects, they are living things. They are alive. Also plants, all types of plants, whether it be a flower or a tree, a fruit, a vegetable, they are alive. So they are plants. We are, why they're alive is because plants can die, right? So that means if they're dead, they're not alive anymore. And if they're alive, they're not dead. So plants are living things as well. So these are examples of living things, animals, insects, and plants. And like I said, there are so many different ones you can choose. And so these are just examples that I gave you, but there are so many others that you can pick. And so on your test on Thursday, you will be able to tell me your own types of living things that you can think of. And so these are things, remember, People are alive, yes, but people, we already did person, and person is separate from things. We're humans, we're not things. So that's why we're not on the list of things, okay? So animals, a dog, cat, horse, cow, pig, fox, insects, flies, butterflies, beetles, mosquitoes, plants, flowers, trees, fruits, vegetables, all types of plants, these are all called living things. They're things and they're alive. Now let's go to the next part of things, which are non-living things. 
So this will be like if you go, if you sit in a classroom and you think about all kinds of things that are in the classroom, or if you go, if you sit in like your living room or your kitchen, bedroom, wherever in your house, and you look at all the different furniture that you, all the different furniture you have in your house, those are considered non-living. Non-living means that they are not alive, right? Because living is alive, non-living means they are not alive. So let's go ahead and think about it in the classroom. I know we haven't been in the classroom for a little while, but think about it. When you were in your classroom, I'm sure you saw a board. That's a non-living thing. A board, a pencil, paper, right? Markers, crayons. All of these are non-living. What else? We have charts. Now we do the phonic charts, a ruler, a book, folder, a desk, okay? So there's so much more, but we'll just use these for examples. So these are examples of non-living things. They are not alive. Board, pencil, paper, markers, crayons, charts, rulers, books, folder, desk. They don't have our beats and they cannot breathe, so they are non-living, but they are still a thing. They are different things we would find in a classroom. So when we do our Zoom Thursday, I will ask you that question. Tell me some things that we would find in certain places. So I hope that you can tell me that on Thursday. So that's an example of things we would find in the classroom. Now let's talk about thing, non-living things we would find in our homes. So think about your kitchen. What are some non-living things in the kitchen? The stove, right? The microwave. The fridge, refrigerator, <clears throat> the toaster, water, the sink, all of that is non-living things. Think about if you go in your living room, what are some non-living things? A sofa, right? A table, the TV. Think about your bedroom. You might have a toy in your bedroom. That's not living, right? Okay, think about the bathroom, the tub, the toilet, okay? So those are just a few examples. These are non-living things, things that are not alive. So stove, microwave, fridge, toaster, water, sink, sofa, table, TV, toy, tub, toilet. There are so many other things I'm sure you could look around the house and you can see a lamp, a dresser, so many things you can see in your house that are considered non-living. And so we have living and non-living things, but the thing is they are all things. They're still things, it's just two different types of things, okay? So let's go ahead and review the lesson again. So a noun is the name of a person, place, thing, or idea. We have, we are talking about things this week. We have living things like animals, insects, and plants. Then we have non-living things like a board, a folder, a stove, fridge, a table, a sofa, a toy, marker, all over. So just think about it. You can walk around your house today and just say, that's a thing, that's a thing. If you go to the grocery store, that's a thing, that's a thing. When you walk outside, that's a thing. Things are all over around us. So you can identify things pretty much anywhere you go. All right, so we'll continue to do that on tomorrow. So today I just want you to practice identifying things around your house that I didn't put here. And um, that's it for today.